so today's video is going to be my June favorites. Oh my gosh, can you guys believe June is already gone? Like, it went by so fast for me, it's crazy. But yeah, so this is my favorites for June, and I have quite a few products ranging everywhere from hair, skin, to face, so, like makeup, so I'll go ahead and get started. And first I'm going to start with hair. And these are two products that I used all month and I absolutely fell in love with them. And it all started from when I went on vacation at the beginning of June. I went to visit some friends of mine and they had, um, one of the nights I was there, the last night or something, I had was running low on shampoo and I didn't have any more. So I borrowed my friends and she was using this um, particular kind and it's funny because she, I feel like I'm rambling, but I have to tell you guys that she has the complete opposite hair type as me. She has thick, gorgeous, curly hair. I was just beautiful, and I have fine, flat, thin hair. So, yeah, but I used her shampoo, and the next morning I woke up, and my hair felt so much more, like, volumized. It was soft, it was smooth, it smelled amazing, and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to buy this when I get home. So, anyways, what it is is, and I know it's a lot of people here on YouTube, like, have mixed emotions about this brand, but it's the Pantene brand, and it's Pantene Pro-V Curly Hair Series Moisture Renewal, um, it's a humectant, I got the shampoo and the conditioner, and they look like this, and you can pick these up at Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, pretty much any drugstore is going to have these, and they range, I think, in the, like, I think I got mine on sale for like $3.78, but I think they're usually like $4.99, something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. But they're no more than that for these small bottles. I know the bigger bottles are more expensive. But I've used these all month, and I still have quite a bit left. I mean, this one's still to like there. This one's almost empty because I use more conditioner than I do shampoo. But I absolutely love these. The smell is amazing. I've always loved the smell of Pantene. Um, I don't know. I just, I love it. And even though it's for the curly hair, for some reason, it is just, like, it works awesome for me. So, I love it. Going to continue using these bottles till I use them up. But it makes my hair feel so good. Okay, so the next one for hair is something that I got in my glam bag. And it was the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. And it looks like this. And I know when I first got this, I had, I uploaded a video, I believe it was like a collective haul or something. And this was in it. And I talked about how I could not stand the smell of it. Like the smell just absolutely kills me. Still kills me. Still hate the smell. But I find myself every time I wash my hair reaching for this. Like, every time. And I've already read about it, but it's supposed to stop frizz and just, there's no silicones in it or oils. So it's just supposed to be really good for your hair. It's supposed to block humidity and smooth and condition, which it does. My ends have felt so much nicer lately since I've been using this all month. And um, even though it's a sample size and I use it every time I wash my hair, I've it's still like to here. So there is a lot of product in this little thing. So I absolutely am loving this. Very, very awesome for your hair. It makes it feel very slick, very nice. The frizz after I blow dry my hair, there's no frizz in it, which is awesome. So yes, loving that. Okay, and on to body. Now the first one is also something I got in my glam bag. And um, I talked about this one before as well. And it is the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath. Um moisturizer for your face. It's oil-free, um, energizing oxygen gel cream moisturizer. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a bluish tint. And um, it is oil-free, which is great because I have oily skin. So I was really anxious to try this when I first got it, and um, I fell in love with it. I've used it all month long. I have yet to go back to my clean and clear one. I just keep using this. But, downside. I did notice when I was using this all over my face, it broke me out pretty much from here down. Like all on my chin, and I've still got some that's trying to heal. A little bit on my cheeks and around my lip area. It did break me out. But from here up, it didn't do, like, didn't break me out or anything. So what I do is I use it around my eyes, under my eyes, and on my forehead. And a little bit down my nose and on the sides of my nose. And it works great. So. Um, yeah, it sucks that it breaks me out from here down. It's weird, I know, but I still use it. I still love it from here up. 
So yeah, great product for me. I will still continue to use this um, in the areas that I use it because it does work great. So yeah, I'm loving this. Used it all month long. Um, next is a body lotion and this one is, I actually got it from Walmart. It was by the Body Ecology. Um, it was a new scent. It's the Coconut Lime Twist Nourishing Body Cream and it looks like this. It's a very big bottle. Pretty much the size of my head. <laughs> so, and I believe this one, when I got it, was like three something. Um, three something or two something. I can't remember. It's been too long ago. But I also got this, like, I think it was like June 1st or something. And I used it all month. And it says, for daily rejuvenation, smooth over skin, giving special care to dry or rough areas, such as hands, elbows, knees, and heels. For softening that feels like blissful indulgence. And the beneficial ingredients is moisturizing aloe vera, shea butter, and nourishing vitamin C and E. And this smells exactly like what it says. Coconut and lime. It is awesome. It has the strongest scent of coconut, you guys. And I absolutely love coconut. But it doesn't really have the coconutty like sunscreen scent. Which I think is because the lime is in there. It kind of makes it, it mixes it up a little bit. But oh my goodness, it just smells like summer. It's awesome. It's amazing. If you love coconut and lime, definitely check this out. It's a great product. Definitely leaves your skin very smooth, very moisturized, and I love it. It's awesome. And the price is great too, so. Um, oh, and one last thing on this. I forgot. When I was on vacation, I went to the mall and I went in body, what was it? Um, Bath and Body Works. Duh. And they had a scent that was similar to this. I think it was like the same name, Coconut Lime or something. And I had this in my purse and I took this out and I smelt it and I put it on my hand. And then on the other hand, I used the one from Bath and Body Works. Not kidding you guys, legit same scent, same moisturizing feel. I was like freaking out because of course the one from Bath and Body Works is like $12.50. This was like 2 to $3.00. And you get a lot more product in this. And it smells exactly the same and felt the same. So I was like jumping for dry. I was like, yes, I had the better buy. But anyways, I just thought that was funny. So, okay, on to the next two things. These are two products that I've had forever, but I refound them at the beginning of the month. And I've been using them. And they are just the Brash. You can get these at Payless. Um, it's the company Brash. And it is their solid perfume. And I have two of them. They look like this. The first one is just a little heart and you open it up and there's the solid perfume inside. And this one is called Heart Attack. And it's very, very pretty. It's more of like a sweeter, musky scent. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it just it smells really good. I'm not sure how much these are. I think they range between 4 to $5. I could be wrong on that, but I don't remember how much these are. Um, and then this one is a, like the little star and of course the same thing, um, perfume inside. And this one is called Cosmic Star and this one's my favorite. Ugh, this is just like, to me it has a scent of cotton candy and like just sweet yumminess. I don't know, it smells awesome though. I could just sit there and smell that all day long. But these are awesome just to throw in your bag when you're out and about and if you just want to touch up your perfume or something you know you can put it on and they're great I love them they're cute packaging and they smell awesome so loving those okay now we'll move on to um, makeup and the first one is my bronze booster by physicians formula um, I've talked about this before in a couple of videos absolutely love it it looks like this I have mine in the medium to dark and it's just great there's no shimmer in it um, at all. It's just like a matte, um, well, there's like a slight shimmer in it, now that I look at it, like, in the light. But it's like, when you put it on your face, you can't tell. It, there's like no shimmer on your face, so take that for what it's worth. And this is the Glow Boosting Pressed Bronzer. Cannot read today. Anyways, I love the packaging. I do feel like it's kind of bulky. I hate when the companies do the whole like three thing where you get the brush inside. I mean it's a cute concept but to me it's just irritating because I never use the brush underneath. But I love the mirror and I think the packaging on the outside is just super cute. I believe this range is like 10 to $12 depending on where you buy it. Um, but I love this. 
And the next product is a 24 hour um, color tattoo by Maybelline and this one is Bad to the Bronze number 25. And if you haven't seen these, it looks like this. I have found myself using this all month again. Like I bought this a couple months ago and I used it forever then I put it away and I was using other things and I found this at the beginning of the month and have used this all over again, loving it all over again. It's just an awesome bronzy color. I'll give you a swatch. Very pigmented, awesome um, coloration on your eyes and it stays like it says. You know, once you put this sucker on, you have to quickly blend it in, and but once it's on, it's on. You don't have to worry about your worrying if your eyeshadows are falling all over the place or sliding off your face, which is great for the summer, especially where I live. It is so hot over the weekend. It was like 101 degrees, and it was just miserable. It was muggy and gross, and I used that, and my eyeshadow at the end of the day was still in place, and it was still so beautiful. I was so happy. But anyways, loving these. So if you haven't tried these out, you should you should definitely go check them out. Um, I think they're like six, seven dollars, something like that. Love those though. The next thing is my two mascaras that I've used all month long and this one is the Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express and it's the one, their newest one in the turquoise and fuchsia wrapper with the really really weird crazy flexi brush. I have fallen in love with this mascara. I use it every single day. When I don't use it, like I just feel like my lashes just don't look that great. But I love this stuff. And I think it's like six dollars. Um, and then the other one is one that I use with it and this is my Mega Length Mascara which I need to get a new one of these because I think it's seen its last days. It's like dead now. And this one is just a lengthening mascara. That's what the brush looks like. Mine's bent. It, they don't typically come bent. It bent when I was sticking it back in here. But, um, yeah, this one I think is like $2 at Walmart or you can get it at Ulta now. Um, wherever you can find Wet n Wild, you can find that. Oh, Walgreens has them. But great lengthening mascara. I use these two together and it makes my lashes look awesome. Okay, the next thing is a liner that I bought beginning of the month or middle of the month, I can't remember, but I've used this sucker every single day and it is the L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. And mine is in brown and the reason being is because I don't particularly like the black on me. I think it's a little bit too harsh for my skin tone. So I typically, typically go for black brown, but they were sold out of the black brown so I bought the brown which is great, but it's still a little bit too brown for me. Um, I'm probably going to, when I'm done with this, go back and get the black brown because I like black brown a lot better. Because it's just a little bit darker, but it's not like super intense like normal black eyeliner is. But anyways, it looks like this. Mine needs to be sharpened again. It goes on really super smooth. It's awesome. And it's got the little smudger on the end. And I don't remember how much I paid for this. Once again, it was probably around 7 or $8.00. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, I bought mine at Ulta, so can't remember that, but I'll give you guys a little swatch. That's what it looks like. It goes on super smooth, really awesome. And yeah, loving that. The last thing I have for you guys is my naked palette. And I had showed this in my I think it was my make or my makeup collection video that I got and I love this thing. I had wanted this forever and I kept putting it off because I have so many eyeshadows and I was just like, ugh, I don't need to spend the money for the Naked palette when I have so many other eyeshadows that are so similar. But I did it and I got it and it's awesome. <laughs> I use this every single day. Um, I get a lot of use out of, what is it, Naked Buck, um, Sin Version, and Sidecar. Those are like my typical everyday colors, and then I like to use Toasted and Hustle quite often, but those are the colors, if you have not seen this, which you probably have because everybody on YouTube has this, um, but I absolutely love this palette, and it's awesome, and definitely was worth me, or the money that we paid for it, because I use it every single day, and it's just, it's become a staple for me that what came with it was the little Urban Decay um, primer potion. I had never tried this before. I always used the e.l.f. one which I love. It's still love. It's a dollar. But um, it did give me a chance to try this out since it came with the Naked palette and I do like it. 
Whether or not I would actually go and spend all the money on it, probably not because my e.l.f. one I feel does the same exact thing, but it was great that I got this so I can actually try it out. So it's a great primer, but I will probably continue to buy the e.l.f. one just because it does the same thing in my opinion, and of course the e.l.f. one is a dollar. This one's like, I think $18 or something like that, so anyways... That was my June favorites, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a great June, and we're in July now. Yay, 4th of July is coming up. I'm so excited. I hope you guys all have a great July, and um, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Be sure to like the videos, so that way I know that you guys are enjoying them, and I'll continue to make them. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I talked about or anything else, just leave it down below and I'll get back to you. You, you can um, private message me or anything like that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!